In this video, we're going to look at how to create cladograms. A cladogram is a branching diagram showing the cladistic relationship between a number of species. For example, here is a very simple cladogram showing the relationship between these four species. Cladograms can be a lot more complicated. But what do cladograms actually show? This shows the last time between a common ancestor of these two species. We go back in time more, common ancestor of these three species, or this branch, or clade, and this species. The longer ago the last common ancestor, the more time there has been for these species to become different through evolution. We should go another step on our cladograms and actually add the actual traits that changed. For here, sharks, then we developed a bony skeleton, four limbs, amniotic egg, so we can see more and more changes, things are becoming more different from our ancestral species. There are five steps in creating a cladogram. Firstly, we create a table showing the differences from the ancestral form, which is often called an outgroup. Secondly, we total up these differences. At this point, I often rearrange my columns from the least to the most differences to make it easier. We then create a Venn diagram from these totals. And finally, we create the cladogram from the Venn diagram. So here is our first cladogram problem. They remind us not to put the outgroup as part of a living species. We have the outgroup and three other species. Our first job is to work out the differences in each of these species from the outgroup, which are shown in yellow. So from this, we can make a set of totals. At this point, I often like to rearrange these to be in order from smallest to largest, which looks like this. It now becomes an easy job to create the Venn diagram. We can put in the species names here, then use this information to create it. These three species were separated off through the development of a cephalothorax. There is nothing else common in these species. These differ because they have developed a telson. The arachnids differ because they have developed trachea and reduced abdominal appendages. Now we could make this a lot tidier. It now becomes quite an easy job to create the cladogram from this Venn diagram. From this Venn diagram, we can see that these two are the most related, followed by these guys. We can then add the features that we base this cladogram on. We can tidy this up a bit so it looks like this, where we can see the features that it's based on. Thank you for listening.